In question 22, we're given the diagram of a triangle ABC. Uh, we're given the lengths of ABC and one of the angles. We're asked to work out the value of X. Now, the way that we do this is firstly to recognize, and you have this equation in the front of your exam booklet, but to recognize that in order to work this out, since we've, given, we've been given three sides and the angle is opposite one of those sides, the angle that we've been given, we can actually use the equation which is a squared equals, that's not very really let me try that again, so a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a, and in this case the a as in the length and the angle, are the ones that we've been given there. So, when we substitute the values in place of that, we will get 2 root 7 all squared equals 2x minus 1 squared plus 2x plus 1 squared. So it's not very well written, is it? 2x plus 1 squared minus 2, and obviously this is b, c, cos. A. So that's cos 60, and again that's uh, not very really clearly, let me just rewrite that. So we've got cos 60. So when you work that out, 2 times by root 7 squared will give us 4, root 7 root 7, and obviously root 7 times root 7 is just 7, so we've got 7 times 4, so that's 28 equals... And when we multiply out this first bracket, we get 4x squared minus 4x, because you'll get minus 2x minus another 2x, plus 1. And in the next bracket, we get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. And that is minus, now in this bracket we're going to get 2x, so if we work this out, 2x times 2x will give us 4x squared, then we'll get a plus 2x, then a minus 2x, which will cancel out, and then minus 1. So we're going to end up with 4x, so this bit here essentially will become 4x squared minus 1, and then that will multiply by 2, so we'll get 2 times by 4 x squared minus 1, and cos 60, if you put it into your calculator, is in fact half. Go back to the black now. Right, so that's what we're going to get. So when we simplify that again, one of the things we'll see here is that will cancel with that, and when we simplify further, we're going to get 28 equals 8x squared plus 2, minus, and then that inside bracket bit will become 4x squared minus 1. And it will become that because essentially the 2 will cancel with the half, which obviously is 1 over 2, so that 2 will cancel with that, so that half would essentially go, so you'd just be left with 4x squared minus 1. Um, so then when we rearrange that we get 28 equals 8x squared plus 2 minus 4x squared plus 1 because of course this this minus goes to the minus uh, and relates to the minus 1 as well so when we simplify that we're going to end up with 4x squared equals 28 minus 3 Therefore, 4x squared equals 25. 
x squared equals 25 over 4. So that means that x would be equal to, you'd have to square root, the square root of 25 over 4. And that gives us square root of 25 is 5, square root of 4 is 2, 5 over 2, so x is 2 and a half.